Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another messy house clean with me. I feel like I have been sharing a ton of these this summer and I just feel like the summer has really kind of thrown most of my routines out the window. Aside from my nighttime routine, I really still try to get that done, but obviously that does not happen every single night because otherwise my house would not be getting to this point. But the good news is when my house is getting so messy, it gives me the opportunity to give you guys some really, really good cleaning motivation. So on this day, as you saw, I was starting out with my laundry. I had a ton of laundry to do, and so I wanted to go ahead and get that started, and then that could just be running while I was getting to the rest of the chores. I've also been getting lots and lots of comments from you guys about how I edit my videos and how you guys really like how I edit them. So I hope that you guys are enjoying that. I always try to make my videos a little bit different and just put a little extra something in them just to kind of make them a little bit more engaging and something that can really, really get you hyped up and ready to go. So I hope that you guys are enjoying that as well. But let's go ahead and get back into the cleaning and get our houses looking good. So moving into the kitchen, I just wanted to clear everything off the counter. As you can see, we had a ton of Play-Doh left out. This was mostly Noah getting into this earlier, and normally I would just have them go ahead and clean up with me, but Luke had started to not feel good on this day, and so he was laying down, and then I just decided to go ahead and let the boys kind of hang out a little bit, and they will be coming in to do their chores here in just a few minutes. So I wanted to say a big thank you to Audible for sponsoring today's video. I am always so excited to share companies and products that I love and use. And if you're unfamiliar with Audible, they have the largest online selection of audiobooks. And I really love listening to them while I'm doing other things. I feel like I'm always so busy and don't always have the time to sit down and read. But with Audible, you can listen to the audiobooks anytime, no matter what you're doing, whether you're driving or you're cleaning or you're doing something that you need to do, but you can just kind of pay attention to an audiobook. That is the perfect time to listen. Like for example, on this day, I was listening to 15 Secrets Successful People Know About Time Management by Kevin Cruz. And let me tell you, this has been life-changing for me. There were so many things that this audiobook really spoke to me about. I feel like I could just talk to you guys on and on about this. But he said, your workday doesn't end when everything is done. It ends when you are tired and want to stop. There's always going to be more to do or something else to finish, so you have to set those limits, and I guarantee you can be more successful in those ventures when you are setting limits for yourself. So Audible is offering you guys a 30-day free trial, which includes one free audiobook and also two Audible Originals. After the 30 days, it's just $14.95 a month. You can cancel anytime. There are no contracts or anything. And then each month you will earn one free credit and those credits will roll over, which is so amazing. You can just save those credits up and use them when you're ready. So if you want to take advantage of that offer, you can go to audible.com slash thiscrazylife or just text thiscrazylife to 500-500. On dancing, soon we'll burn down into ashes. Cause you keep playing with matches. Hate that I want you. Yeah. Running out of second chances. So I decided to show throughout this video just the everyday mom life that happens while you guys usually only see me cleaning for a long period of time. There are definitely moments where I have to turn off the camera and really attend to my kids. As you can see, Noah was struggling a little bit and so I needed to pause the camera for a second and just go help him. And then once he was feeling better, I just came back and got right back into it. Yeah, all I ever wanted was to make us work. Cause I don't wanna spend my life without you. Nothing else matters when you say my name I just want you Running out of second chances Whoa. You keep taking me for granted Whoa. Cause I don't wanna do this any longer But somehow it's too hard to walk away now Running out of second chances Whoa. You keep taking me for granted Whoa.
once the sink was clean I added in a few drops of essential oils I always show you guys this and a ton of you guys swear by this now if you are struggling with a smelly sink go ahead and add in a few drops of essential oils and it will make such a difference in there and then once I added those oils in I'm just putting back together my soap station which consists of my Grove Collaborative stoneware tray as well as the bubble up sponge dish and the bubble up dish brush set and then I'm just refilling my glass containers with dish soap To wipe down our countertop, I am just using the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray in the scent Basil. This is one of my very favorite scents from Mrs. Meyers. And a lot of you guys have asked me if you are able to clean granite countertops with all-purpose sprays. I'm not going to tell you that you can or you can't. I've heard both ways. However, we do seal our granite countertops regularly, and so I feel like that helps protect the stone a lot. And so when I notice that liquids are not beating up on top of the countertops, that's when I will actually reseal them and get them protected again. So if you are ever having any issues with your granite countertops, I would definitely recommend looking into sealing them. It's made such a big difference for us. Got me up all night putting things on the side. What do you have in mind? She's awake all the time. What are you trying to find? I hope this ain't a lie. Cause I'm vibing with all we have. Yeah, I'm feeling what we are now. I'm laying down on the ground. All I do is thinking out loud. Now to clean my stainless steel appliances, I am just using the e-cloth all-purpose cloth followed by the e-cloth glass and polishing cloth. Anytime you use any e-cloths, you only ever have to use water and they work so amazing. I have tried so many things throughout the year, trying to get our stainless steel appliances looking good and not having any streaks, and this has been hands down my very favorite. Next, I started doing something a little bit different than cleaning, but I really wanted to create a new command center in our kitchen. All I had before was just our menu board, and I would sometimes have a calendar on there, but I felt like I didn't really use it that way, and so this I think is going to be really, really nice. All of these items came from the Target dollar spot recently, so they were only $5 each. I actually shared them in one of my recent vlogs, so I will add them up in an iCard up here if you guys have not seen that vlog, and I am just going to be attaching them to my wall using command strips, and as usual, I am not really measuring things I am just eyeballing it to where they look good and then making sure they are level and calling it a day and that is how I get it done in my house
I just came and put Noah to bed. This is the third time this week that he has taken a nap and he has not been taking naps for a long, long time. Look how sweet he is. But now while he's sleeping, the other boys are occupied, I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. So for now, I am just putting the old magnets that I had on my previous menu board, but I'm actually going to be ordering some labels from one of my good friends. Her Etsy shop is Heart of This Home Design, and she's the one who's made so many things for me. She's made my pantry label, she's made my pantry sign, my laundry sign, my summer decor signs, just everything. She is so talented. So I'm definitely going to be having her make some labels for our menu board, and I think it's going to turn out so cute. But for now, we are just making do with what I have. Moving into the living room, I just needed to tidy this up. Although it looks like it was kind of crazy in here, it really wasn't that bad. There wasn't a ton out. It was actually just some bigger items left out along with a few toys, of course. And here it is. Here is our new couch. I am so excited for this. We have been looking for a couch for months and months and months, just looking for something that would have a little bit more seating for our family. And whenever Kyle and I went on a date recently, we ended up at a furniture store and we found this couch and we just thought, oh my gosh, this is the one we've been looking for. We were so excited. It really fits the space perfectly. So now the only thing that we are looking for with this couch is a new rug and also an ottoman because this couch kind of really needs it. So soon enough, hopefully we will find a new ottoman and a new rug and this room will kind of get pulled together. Captured in a photograph, do you remember how we used to sit in the vines? In my office, I was just kind of clearing the space out. This has definitely become a big catch-all in this room just because it's a room that we don't go in all the time. I'm usually in here working and editing on my videos, but the rest of the family doesn't come in here too often. And so I feel like it's just so easy to set things in here and kind of let them be and it's out of the way and we don't even notice all the clutter in here. But I do have to come in here pretty often and get it back in order. And I did want to mention I had gotten these new suitcases for a girl's trip that I had a few weeks ago. And then also for Kyle's and my 10 year anniversary trip that we are taking up to New York this fall and we just did not have any luggage anymore and so I needed some new ones and I ordered these off Amazon and I love them. They are so cute. They come in a ton of different colors. From my one trip I have taken with them, they seem really durable so I would definitely recommend looking into them if you are in the market for some new luggage. I always have all of my Amazon favorites linked in the description box below in case if you guys are wanting anything that you see in my videos. My dear friend, you know I give it so long to feel it all of these years 
last spot in my home that I was cleaning on this day was my master bedroom that's usually my go-to when I go to clean the house is just cleaning up the main living area and then also the master bedroom I don't always go into the kids room because it doesn't really get that messy and the boys have their own responsibility of cleaning up the playroom usually and so with that I don't usually go in there all the time and clean up for them and on this day I felt like I had so much to do that I definitely did not have time to do that and so the last area on my list was just the master bedroom and I feel like having your bedroom clean just creates such a sense of peace and an area in your house that you can go to and just relax and unwind I just feel like it makes such a big difference So as I had mentioned earlier, I had just gone on a girl's trip about a week ago and I was just filming this the day after I had gotten back and I had shared in a recent Clean With Me video that I have just found the importance of coming home off of a trip and getting everything unpacked. 
I feel like it just takes the biggest weight off of you instead of having all the luggage laid out and all the clutter and just having that big item on your to-do list for days and days or even a week it really tends to weigh on you so I would suggest trying to make this your number one priority when you get back is unpacking everything and getting everything put in its place and I promise that it will give you such peace you will want to start doing this every single time you get home from a vacation. Change the way I love it. Maybe if I try to fix this heart, then I could have stayed the night. I could have called you mine. If I change the way I The last laundry that I had to do on this day was just to put away some sheets that I had just washed and I had struggled for years and years and years on not figuring out how to fold a fitted sheet. Let me know in the comments if you have mastered folding a fitted sheet or if you just kind of ball it up and throw it in the closet and just don't worry about it because it feels like it's almost impossible. I will say that there are tons and tons of YouTube videos specifically on how to fold fitted sheets. So if you are trying to figure it out, just know that you can do it. That is like seriously something I struggled with so long and now I'm so happy that I actually know how to do it. Then I Change the way I love it. Maybe if I try to fix this heart, then I could have stayed the night. I could have called you mine. If I change the way I love then I change my mind, my mind. Baby, we got time, time, time. Change the way I love it. Maybe if I try to fix this heart, then I could have stayed the night. I could have called you mine. If I change the way I change my mind, 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 mind. Maybe we got time, 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 time. Something, something I can never be without, yeah I'm in your coming, thought I was a man of my own But it's been two years, I'm only a shadow. So 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this gave you all the cleaning motivation that you are needing today. And I did want to remind you to go check out Audible. Again, you just go to audible.com slash this crazy life or text this crazy life to 500 500 and that will give you that amazing offer I had mentioned earlier. I hope you guys have an incredible day. You deserve it. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already. I have a ton of really great videos coming up for you guys. I do not want you guys to miss out on them and I will see you in my next one. Bye.